Good day, viewers. My name is Susan Orochimi from the Redeemed Christian Church of God Living Spring Center, Tottenham in London. We're reflecting from the Open Heavens Daily Guide written by Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Our topic today is Manifest Your Empowered State. And the Bible passage is taken from Psalm 66, verses 3 to 4. It says, Say to God, how awesome are your works. Through the greatness of your power, your enemies shall submit themselves to you. All the earth shall worship you and sing praises to you. They shall sing praises to your name. Her memory verse is taken from Psalm 66, verse 3. Say to God, how awesome are your works. God is awesome in his majesty, in everything. In fact, the scripture tells us that his ways past finding out. He is the almighty mighty that is above all and greater than all. So he is indeed awesome and his works are mighty. Through the greatness of his power, we have been assured that our enemies shall submit themselves to us. And the reflections for today we have established in the course of the month that we are gods. Indeed, we are the grantees of the power of attorney to do exactly what God will wish to do here on earth. That is why Jesus said that he has given us the authority to trample upon serpents and demons. If we really have this power and authority from the Alpha and Omega, there is nothing that can be impossible for us to do. There is no one who can validly challenge our authority or resist our power to enforce the will of God on planet Earth. The Lord told Joshua that he was with Moses, so he would be with him and no one would be able to withstand him all the days of his life. The test came when he was having the battle at Gibeon in Joshua chapter 10. Because he had a job to finish, he commanded the moon and the sun to stand still. They obeyed him. And the Bible commented that there was not a day that the earth obeyed the voice of a man as Joshua's voice was obeyed that day. If you carry the power of God with you, you will start to command things to obey you. The Bible says in the book of Job, chapter 22, verse 28, you will also declare a thing and it will be established for you so light will shine on your ways. You have to start operating at full capacity as an able representative of God in this world. If you carry that power in full force, no door can close against you. You will command situation and they will obey you. When stranger sees you, they will flee over hidden places. You have been given the power and the authority Rise up and use it because the Lord is with you as a mighty, terrible man of war. Open your mouth and speak the word. Speak into your situation. Rise above circumstances and take authority over every situation that stands in your way. Action point for today. One forceful way to establish your dominion on earth is by being full of God's glory. And once you are full of God's glory and you use the authority that God gives you, you will have dominion over everything. The scripture tells us in Genesis that you, we should have dominion over everything that is on earth. That includes circumstances, situation, challenges of life. And I pray that today, as you operate in that authority that God has given into, unto you, you will walk in victory. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray that the glory, the power, and the anointing of God come upon you so that you'll rise up and you'll be God representative on earth. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and see you again. Bye.